All right, so uh, I am still running for mayor of Ottawa, Ontario. Hello, hello. Um, my name is Gregory Guevara. I am running on an Ottawa exit campaign. Also known as the capital of Canada. I meant to update you on this earlier, but uh, turns out running a mayoral campaign even post ironically is like a lot of work didn't really didn't really think about how much work there was going to be before i signed up for this quick reminder i am running on a auto exit campaign which is we're going to separate ottawa from the rest of canada and a universal basic government job campaign which means that we are going to give everybody a government job because it is the right of every citizen of ottawa to work for the government you get a government job you get a government everyone gets a government job news of my candidacy has been spreading far and wide on a side note the man has literally gone and applied for the position of mayor for ottawa which demonstrates just how effectively memes can be when used to bolster a political campaign Controversial anarchist YouTuber Gregory J. Reg Guevara has announced he is running for mayor. His platform? Auto exit, or separating the city from the country that hates it. Here I am in a mainstream media news article. Essentially what I'm being asked about here is Doug Ford gave the Ottawa mayor more power, and they're asking what I think about this. So I said that, well, I've been in talks with Doug Ford for a while now, and they put that uh, word for word on the... CTV article. By the way, Doug Ford also gave more power to the mayor of Toronto, which I can only assume is some sort of preemptive attempt to defend against the upcoming Toronto Ottawa annex, in which Toronto becomes part of the greater Ottawa region. Goodbye GTA, hello G-O-R, as in we're going to gore everybody around us. And he actually only gave the Ottawa mayor more power because he saw my polls. Now, polls are in, as you can see, I'm a shoe in These poll numbers are so good, I don't even know why we should have an election. For some reason, uh, the mainstream news article people are confused why my campaign website is an angel fire website uh they were like are you sh are you sure th are you sure this is it i even have a wikipedia redirect now that goes to the 2022 municipal elections also uh, look at this headshot i just i don't know i think that's i think that's fun this is just the first picture that comes up when you google drag so this looks like kind of a callback to a different time huh sometimes i think about my past and i get really disassociated moving on but again again none of this is about me all right it's about the ideas that we're running on what is the wall gonna be made of wall. 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 Make yes. big wall out of a big that was the theme of the campaign rally which we had about a week ago it was amazing 5,000 people showed up biggest rally of all time because when I win we all win I know. We stormed Parliament Hill, and when we got there, we realized there was a big wall around Parliament Hill, which is very ironic, you know? You know, we say we're going to build a big wall. We're called a joke campaign. They actually do build uh, a smaller version of the wall that we've proposed, and everybody just accepts it. There's a big wall around Parliament Hill. So we did what any sane, rational political group would do, and we started wailing on the wall, like some kind of wailing wall. <laughs> The rally was amazing. Our chants were, what do we want? Big wall. When do we want it? Big wall. Big wall. When do we want it? Big, big wall. wall. And then whatever I said, they just said big wall. It was fun. And then I had my first debate. It was an environmental debate. We talked about ecological policy. I pointed out that if we build a big wall, we will severely cut our carbon exports. It is when in Grindmore. And of course, once we nationalize Ottawa and give everyone the government job they deserve, everybody will be able to care more about the environment and pick up after themselves and their community because they won't be so stressed about money. Again, we're hitting every corner of the political compass here. Strong national unity, universal jobs, racial, sexual, gender diversity, and zero tax because we don't need to tax people modern monetary theory means we can just print more money a full video is coming soon but i will play for you clips of the debate to give you a little taste this red line represents the amount of uh, uh environment we have and the black line represents the number of people now we were talking earlier about how ottawa is expected to grow what was it 500,000 people great that's a great that's a great statistic i say i think to myself well wh why why you know what if we just didn't Think about that. I asked the Ottawa election team if I could run as Gregory Dreg Guevara. The only problem is uh, none of that is right, my real name. But then I quoted some obscure legislation at them that said that 
uh, drag was what I was known as. And uh, it worked. They let me do it. So now I'm officially running as Gregory Drag Guevara. And in the interest of <laughs> coherence amongst my social media accounts and while I'm campaigning and just to prove that I actually am trying to win, uh, I'm going to be changing all of my social media to Gregory Dreg Guevara just so that it's all, you know, it's all coherent. It's all, it's all the same, you know? And this officially marks the beginning of era 2.999 repeating. I had meant to get here a lot earlier and then I got sad. Also, let me just say, I love the propaganda fellas. Keep it coming. There's some great stuff. I mean, look at this or this, or how about that? Wow. By the way, um, I do my main updates on Twitter and Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, follow me there. I'm going to keep posting as I do stuff. And that might be the best place to keep up if I announce a new Ottawa-centric event, okay? You don't want to miss these rallies. These are, these are very fun. These are great rallies. Lastly, I have decided that I need to try to win some votes from actual people who live in Ottawa. And uh, people who live in Ottawa, they don't like people who look, I don't know, disheveled um so i'm gonna shave that's gonna officially demark the beginning of era 2.999 repeating i'm still gonna look disheveled of course uh but i'm gonna look slightly less disheveled which 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 is there's an explanation i'll use i'll use myers briggs i'll explain it in the bottom left over here okay there's a lot more you need to know about my campaign and i intend to post a new video every two to three days on this channel until the campaign is over and if i don't do that well, then I'm slacking. That's all I can say. I'm slacking. I feel like I should hammer home this point, though. Uh, we're not, I'm not kidding. Uh, it's not a joke campaign. I, if I get elected, I will do all the things that I promised to do. All right, time to shave. For those intrepid viewers of my channel, you already know that my hair is deeply symbolic. Uh, the sides of my hair represent my extremism. Uh, the mustache area represents my link to my great uncle, Che Guevara. I mean, come on. But in an effort to win as many votes as possible from Ottawa, I am going to take the sides of my hair and tie it behind my back. The reason for this is because the extremism will still be there, but it will be concealed so that I can win the boomer vote. Goodbye, neckbeard, my old friend. Guys, this is so sad. Can we get an F in the chat for the memory of me looking how I feel? You know, it's been a year. Uh, <laughs> it's been over a year since I've started growing this out. I originally meant to get this off much earlier, um, and then, and then I didn't. Uh, no one ever taught me how to shave, so if you're, if you're like a shaving connoisseur and you're watching this, just know that anything else related to the physical realm that I do is probably, it looks more embarrassing than whatever I'm doing right now. Wow, I can see my jawline again. That's very strange. Interesting. <laughs> For some reason, I was expecting to shave and then, like, realize that my jawline was gone or something. This is... <laughs> This is not the look. You know, sometimes I like do something, you know, with my appearance and I'm like, and I, and I end up not liking it. But like the reason I don't like it is because like, I'm like, wait a second, I know this guy. I know, I don't like this guy. I was, I was you actually look so much different. All right, la last, last step of the journey here. I'm a jawline again, yeah!